Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy ACL Official back with another video. Now, as you can tell by the title, Moncler released a jacket worth three grand, just over three grand, and it actually has no sleeves. What we're gonna do today is take a closer look at it. We're also gonna have a look and see what the public think of it. A lot of people are saying it's crazy, stupid, whatever. We're gonna have a look at all of that stuff. And then I'm also gonna tell you why I don't think it's actually that crazy. It definitely is out of the ordinary, but these things are happening more and more now, so I will touch a bit on that. But for now, let's first take a closer look at the actual jacket. All right, cool. So the jacket is known as the Lucrezia Down Quilted Puffer Cape. It was designed by Pier Paolo Piccioli. And funnily enough, he actually won an award at the Fashion Awards 2018 a couple of days ago. But anyway, moving on to the cape's features, it has a toggle drawstring hood. Moncler have that on quite a lot of their jackets, so that's nothing out of the ordinary. There's a big Moncler logo patch on the side. They've got their usual two-way zip closure. As I mentioned at the start and in the title, there are no sleeves on the jacket. So there's basically these two slots which you can zip up or zip down, whatever. If you're wearing it outside and you're cold, you're gonna wanna keep your arms tucked inside it, but you can choose to stick your arms out if you want. The filling inside the jacket is the usual mix of feather and goose down. You've got 90% goose down, 10% feathers. I'm pretty sure this was exactly the same as the Moncler Daniel I reviewed the other day. So there's nothing majorly different there either. And that sums up the main features on the cape, so I don't actually understand why it costs that much money. It could potentially be because the jacket's so big it needs a lot more goose down and feathers. And if that's not the reason, then I've literally got no idea. They're probably just pricing it that way for the whole prestige of it. It's only available in blue at the moment, and Barney's actually have one in stock. So on the slim chance that one of you wants to get one, you know where to go. Now onto the public opinion. Most people were just mocking the tin completely. I was seeing guys saying, if you're wearing that, you're going to look like one of the Daleks from Star Wars. A couple people said, if you wear that, you're going to look like an insect. A few other people said it just looks like a big sleeping bag, which it actually does in a way. So I don't even think that's shade. That's just the truth. And then I remember one person who posted under the IG post, he said it looks like one of Arsene Wenger's jacket. But yeah, there's a lot of public opinion. A lot of people think it looks stupid. Some people are just taken aback by it because it is very like, it's just out there, it's eye catching. So you are going to get those type of opinions. There were a few people who thought it was a lot more normal though. Uh, some of these people were based in these colder countries. So like Alaska, where it does get proper cold. So they were basically saying how you need something like that to keep you warm. I'll try and find the comment and put it on the screen. But I think what the person was basically saying is that even though the cape isn't that ridiculous, the price is still crazy. Personally, I'm not actually that shocked by it. I think people forget that brands need to make new things and keep trying to be innovative. Otherwise, the whole fashion world just remains the same. And eventually you'll just get consumers complaining of being bored. Right now, looking at this jacket, it does seem a little crazy. But at the same time, like if you go back five years ago, 10 years ago, people would look at you as if you were crazy if you were wearing a 500, 600 pound pair of shoes that just looks like a casual pair of socks. So I think it's just one of those things in fashion where changes happen slowly over time. The main issue on this one really is the price though. It's three grand, so it's never really gonna catch on in the mainstream. But I would put money on if it was actually priced at, um, even a similar price to the rest of their jackets, you would probably get people in certain countries actually buying this stuff. So that's why I said at the beginning, to me, it doesn't actually seem that crazy, but that's just my opinion anyway. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know what you think the jacket looks like. And also if it was affordable, would you get one? 